Hey guys, how's it going? Dylan here. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how I created this spider photo right here. This fella has been chilling outside of our house for the past few weeks and conditions were perfect on this day to capture this spider. We had a little bit of rain. It was an overcast day and she was facing towards us. So I was able to set up the tripod and camera inside to capture this spider. So today I'm gonna walk through the settings I use and also the gear I use in order to capture this spider. First up, let's talk about the gear I use. And of course I used a tripod to stabilize my camera and I I used the Canon 100 millimeter macro lens so that I could get real up close to the spider and see all of the details. You know, you can see like the fur and the prongs on the spider. You can see the eyeballs. This helps you get real up close to capture all of those details. Definitely a must have. And then I used off camera flash and my main flash was the Godox AD200 Pro. And I also have the magnet mod, uh, Thing. I don't know what this thing is called, but this is the mag sphere, which helps to diffuse your light so it's not as harsh and uh, you're not gonna get as uh, as harsh of a light on your object. And for my backlight, I just use a Canon speed light with a Godox transmitter right here. Again, I've got the magnet mod mount thing here. And then, these things are so cool, I love these things. I got the mag grid so that my light is focused and doesn't spread out a ton. That just slaps on there like that. And then I have the colored gel. And I selected purple because I thought it looked really cool. And it's basically why I chose purple. <laughs> I thought it looked really cool for the image. And that just slaps on there like that as well. So yeah, quick two light off camera flash setup for this macro photography session. And now let's talk about the settings and how I actually took this photo. For my shutter speed, I set it to one over 200 to match the sync speed of my flashes. I know the Godox can do high speed sync, but I didn't need that for this situation. And I also needed to match the sync speed of my speed light. So my shutter speed was locked in at one over 200. For my aperture, I actually shot this at F22 to make sure I had enough depth of field to capture all the details of the spider and it may seem like a crazy number but for macro photography you actually need a smaller aperture to make sure you capture all of the details of your subject because I mean this lens can go down to 2.8 but let me tell you that 2.8 looks a lot different at infinity focus than it does when your object is about an inch or two away if you're gonna shoot at f 2.8 with your subject about that far away it's going to look very very shallow, only a little bit is gonna be in focus. So I chose F22. I probably could have gone down to F16 or so, but if you look at the photo, you can even see that towards the legs, some of the focus starts to dip off there. So, I mean, I maybe you could have even gone smaller. I don't know, but I was pretty pleased with this result I got here at F22. And for my ISO, I set this at 400, I think. Usually what I do when I'm shooting off camera flash is I wanna ensure I expose for my ambient light first and then dial in my flash power to compensate and to balance that light that's going on there. But I wasn't really worried about capturing the ambient light. I wasn't shooting a portrait. This was a macro shot. And so everything was super blurred out to begin with. And it was just the back of my neighbor's house. It wasn't anything interesting. And I was using a backlight with a colored gel to create that atmosphere and to create that light for me. So I wasn't too worried about doing that for this shot. And that leads me into talking about my flash setup. And I got to give a shout out to my wife, Emily, for helping with this photo. She was actually the one that took the photo, I was the one holding a light outside and doing all that crazy stuff. So huge shout out to her for helping with this photo. Again, for my main flash, it was the Godox AD200 Pro with the diffusion. And I had Emily hold this below the spider to give that up lighting, menacing look to the spider. I didn't want anything too off to the side or above. I liked the placement down below for this look. And then I was outside with the second flash, this guy right here, and I just held it pretty much right behind the spider to backlight it and to add that purple atmosphere to the spider. A lot of times with off camera flash, it's a lot of trial and error. But what I like to do is set the power for my main light, get that exposure dialed in, and then set the power and dial in the exposure for my backlight to achieve the look of the image that I'm going for. I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that you learned a bit about macro photography, about off-camera flash, about photography in general, and comment below. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this type of video because this is my first one kind of explaining my process and what went on with capturing a specific shot and not just a whole behind the scenes. So comment below, let me know. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, see more of my content and ring that notification bell so you get notified when it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to have you along for the journey and I will see you in the next one.